All right. So in this video, we are going to talk about one of the most important thing that I believe everybody who is overweight and obese should learn. And that is counting your calories and knowing how to weigh and measure your food to really hit your calorie intake, daily calorie intake and lose weight efficiently. The process that I'm going to tell you in this video is used universally by all the people all over the world. And it is, I believe, is the most efficient way of tracking your food, counting your calories, macros and all that kind of stuff. So before, so before we really begin this video, I want to clarify my uh, perspective and my take on this whole deal with accounting, weighing and measuring calories. So as you might have known from many of my previous videos that I'm not really a very, very big fan of, you know, counting calories and weighing and measuring food, because that is something that is just, you know, our natural connection, our natural uh, what we can say a natural connection with food is you know very uh, intuitive and we basically eat when we get hungry and we stop when we are full uh, but still i really believe that everybody every single person who is trying to lose weight should at least learn this skill and have an idea of how to do it because the real benefits of learning counting uh, learning to count and weigh and measure your food is just to get an awareness and an idea of how much food we really eat uh, every day and how much we think that we really eat every day. So all that jiba jiba out of the way, let's just get into the actual steps of how to do this thing. The first step is you need to get a kitchen weighing machine. Like I told you, people are really horrible at estimating the weight of the food that they're eating. So when you think that you're eating a 100 grams of potatoes, you are probably at least eating 150 grams of them. Now there are many kitchen weighing machines on the market. Just get any machine. It does not matter. Get a cheap one or get an expensive one. It does not matter. I'd go outside with the cheap one because this is not really something that you are going to uh, keep doing all your life. The second step that you need to do is you just need to simply type the name of your food into Google search and just, uh, you know, prefix it with how many calories this food has. So say that you're eating potatoes, just Google how much calories potatoes has. Say if you're eating chicken, just Google how much calories chicken has. Just make sure that you are uh, looking at per 100 gram and not per an ounce or, you know, per cup and things like that. Use, uh, always use a measurement per gram because, you know, it is a much more efficient way to really track and weigh and measure your food. This is all there is to really counting, weighing and measuring food. All you need to do is just type into Google how much, uh, how, how, what, what, what is the kind of food that you're eating and how much calories it has. At the end of the day, you just need to add all the calories that you're eating and just basically get an idea and awareness of how many calories you're eating and how many calories you really need to, you know, cut off from your diet to hit your daily calorie goal. Now, obviously, there there has to be more to it because if it was it was so simple that just a Google search. Uh, would do it most people won't have really problem with tracking and weighing uh, their calories and their macros but like i told you study upon study has showed uh, shown this to be true that people are really bad at this stuff and the major problem with this whole thing uh, takes me to the step number three is people really you know if, if people really you know search for the entire prepared meal so say that you are eating dosa or upma or you know any Indian dish that has a lot of ingredients in it, people generally just Google the name of that prepared dish and type in how many calories X Y Z food has. So say that you're eating dosa someday. I don't recommend you eat dosa every day in your you know in, in your diet. But say that you're eating it and you just want to know how many calories that particular thing has. And if you type in how many calories dosa has. Now that is a completely wrong way to really weigh and count and measure your food because you see dosa there are like I don't know like 50 different types of uh, dosa we have in, in this place in our country. If the Google search shows that dosa has like 250 calories your dosa might have like 500 calories or 600 calories because the ingredients in that particular dish that particular meal can vary so much that they're the, literally googling that prepared dish has absolutely no use and it can be horribly misleading. The major uh, mistake that people do here is that they Google the name of that entire dish. So if you're eating something that has a lot of ingredients and I would say not is really uh, found in its natural form, you're not really eating it in its natural form like potatoes, fruits or vegetables or chicken or eggs or things like that, then you need to basically 
you you basically need to google every single ingredient that food has so if you were to take the example of dosa dosa has like what it, it has rice it has potatoes it has oil um it has like chutney and sambar with it and all that kind of stuff so if you really want to track and weigh and measure your dosa calories you will need to sing you will you will literally need to measure every ingredient that you're putting it in the exact quantities and then add up all the calories that every single ingredient has now this becomes a very hectic and very uh, time consuming and just a very boring job and this is why i basically always tell people that counting and weighing and measuring calories is an awesome tool to really track your calories be in a calorie deficit and lose weight but you you have to you really have to the number one rule of weight loss is to eat foods that like they are found in nature or at least being close to their natural form as much as possible because this makes the process that simple that easy and you don't really you know require too much time and effort and things like that so that your breakfast is just a couple of baked potatoes with some salt some chicken and some vegetables that this is a really really easy meal to track because all you need to google is calories in potato calories in chicken and calories in vegetables you don't really need to completely break it apart into single ingredients and really go through this entire process of weighing all the ingredients and tracking all the calories the ingredients has like uh, i don't know who, who that person was but you know that famous quote real food does not really have any ingredients real food are the ingredients so if you just eat the ingredients then this whole process of counting weighing and measuring foods becomes very easy and very simple now uh, when you will start counting and weighing and measuring your foods and doing this whole process i would say do it very very aggressively for one month or you know four weeks to six weeks because that is the amount of time approximately you will uh, need to get familiar with all the foods all the common foods that you typically eat so when you will do this uh, you will get an idea of your day to day serving and how many calories it really has and after a certain point you won't really have any any problem with after a certain point you won't really have to invest much time and effort into really googling every single food that you are eating so that is it for this video if you have liked or learned anything from this video make sure you hit the like button uh, subscribe to the channel if you are into this stuff of you know losing weight living a long and healthy life and just you know all this health and fitness stuff then subscribe to the channel ask any questions uh, related to, to this all these topics in the comment section if you have any and i'll see you in the next video